All right, so I haven't done a Nurgle in a while, so I'm gonna do one of those today. So I, I usually start with 12 plus 35 equals 47. So let's just go with that. Gets us a bunch of unique digits. Okay, so it's not equaling a two digit number. So probably equals a one digit number. It could be a three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of work off the assumption that it's equaling a one digit number. We do have a five and a four, not a one, two, three, or seven. So we could have a zero, otherwise it's gotta be six, eight, nine, or repeat numbers. So we're also not adding. So maybe let's do a subtraction that equals a one digit number. That seems good, like a three digit minus a two digit. Could do, oh, but it would have to be, to equal a single digit, then you'd have to have a hundred and something. We can't have a one. So it can't be that. So maybe let's divide and subtract. Let's try that. Like two digit divided by a single digit, subtract another single digit. Seems reasonable. Uh, let's do like, I don't know, maybe like 60 divided by five. We need to have a five in there. That would get us 12. And then we could subtract eight to get four. Seems good, let's go with that one. Okay, so it is equaling a single digit. We've got that part right. And there is subtraction, but it's somewhere else. We know we can't do a three digit minus a two digit. If you do two digit minus three digit, that's obviously not gonna equal four. So we're gonna have to subtract and multiply probably. And we can't do subtraction twice because you'd have to have one of them right there. So it's gotta be a subtract and a multiply, which means, the su and the subtraction is gonna be coming per, no, not necessarily, we could subtract here. We could have something times, you know, two single digits multiplied minus a two digit. That would work. Uh, we could do like five times, well, our two digit though, we can't have one, two, three, we could have another four here. Otherwise, it's gotta be, it can't be a five, because of the five up there. It can't be a six, seven, eight. It would have to be a nine. But then, over here, we'd have to be multiplying to get in the 90s. And nine times nine is 81. That's the biggest you can get with single digits multiplied. So it would have to be, this would have to be a four. So we could do five times nine, which is 45, minus, oh, and then you have to subtract 41. Oh, and that's the other problem. Okay, if we're multiplying by five, our answer is gonna be a five, something that ends in a five or a zero. And then you'd have to subtract either something with a one, or if it's something with a zero, you have to subtract something with a six here. And we can't put a one or a six in it, so it can't be single digits multiplied minus two. So it has to be multiplication first, uh, and you're multiplying by the product of two things. So let's see, it's gonna be something like this, I think. Right, and so if we do something nine minus something times five, an odd number here, which would have to be nine then, and so then, but then this, uh, could we have 59 minus 45 would equal 14. Yeah, it'd have to be 49. Oh, we could do that, we could do 49 minus 45. That would work. Okay, let's go with that. Hey, right, that was it, all right, cool. Very nice. So there's a new thing that I haven't had a chance to try yet called buy Nurdle, and you unlock that once you complete the Nurdle, and I, I, from what I've been told, it's basically you're solving two Nurdles at the same time. So I'm gonna check that out now, um, but that will be in another video. So link in the description and pin comment to where you can find that video.